Hey guys, it's a 2 Pro or Adam, and welcome to my first top 10 here in BO4 Zombies. And today we're gonna go over 10 of the best papped guns here in BO4 Zombies. And when I say papped guns, we are only focusing on the papped versions of the weapons in this game. And of course, guys, today's list will not include any wonder weapons. And you guys know the drill by now. I am doing a giveaway for the launch of BO4. To enter, it is so simple. I have to do is be subbed drop a like on today's video let me guys know right now in the comments what one of these prizes do you want to win and of course the platform you play on and if you guys want to help me out with a future series in the channel you guys want to be featured on the channel as well you guys can go ahead and submit all of your crazy clips you have here in bo 4 zombies to either the email or twitter you see on screen right now and besides that Let's go ahead and jump into the number 10 spot. Starting off our list here in the 10 spot, we have the ICR. And a lot of people are giving the ICR a ton of praise. And don't get me wrong, the ICR Pack-a-Punched is definitely a great gun. But I don't think it's as good as people are saying it is. Like, the ICR is hands down my most used gun here in BO4. Just because it's like the first gun you unlock. And I want to get all of those attachments unlocked and all of the camels done so I have the gun at max prestige and pretty much all of the camels unlocked but it definitely isn't like a crazy good gun it definitely is a good wall gun and when papped it's definitely amazing for headshots but it isn't like a god gun here in BO4 but nonetheless it still is a very good gun when papped. Next up in the number nine spot we have our first sniper and this is the paladin sniper and the paladin sniper is an absolute absolute beast when it comes to killing normal zombies like it just mows them down and it's so satisfying to use as well it kind of reminds me of the dsr from bo2 zombies but once you start trying to kill gladiators or brutus or the blight father this thing kind of struggles so even though this thing kind of struggles against the bigger zombies here in bo4 it still is a beast when it comes to normal zombies now the scope can be kind of annoying but with pretty much every sniper here in bo4 you can can go ahead and throw on a holographic or an iron sight which is so much better you kind of use it more as an AR than an actual sniper and there are some great attachments with this gun so when you have it ranked up and you have it equipped properly the Paladin is a really really fun gun to use and also a super powerful gun when passed coming in at the number eight spot I have the M1897 and this is a very interesting weapon and honestly I feel like this gun could probably be anywhere on today's list it could be in the one spot it could be in the two the, the five the eight or the ten spot like it's a weird gun and I feel like this gun right here just isn't for everybody. The not bad version is pretty much the trench gun from World of War Zombies. It's not as good. It's actually kind of bad, non-papped. But when you pap this thing, it turns into like a grenade launcher. It's so strange and it's insanely powerful. Like I'm not kidding you guys. This thing is just devastating. It melts zombies, one-shot zombies. It melts gladiators. It destroys the Blight Father. It pretty much melts like every kind of zombie here in BO4 Zombies. But with that being said, I feel like it just... It's, there's something about this gun that I just feel like I can't put it in the one spot. It's just not that good. It's kind of inaccurate. You definitely burn through ammo. You cannot put attachments on this gun. And this is not a good idea to run on a map like Blood or Voyage. Close quarter maps is not a good idea. On 9, where you can train the Coliseum, it's fine there. But close quarters, this thing could be really bad if you don't have PhD on. With that being said, this thing is still a beast. And I just want to mention that this gun could easily be anywhere on this list. I was just so torn. I did not know where to put it. So this gun is amazing. I recommend using it. But it is either a gun you'll like or a gun that you won't like. In the number 7 spot, we have another shotgun. And this one is the MOG-12. The MOG-12 is a wall gun. And this gun is kind of considered the KRM of BO4 Zombies. Now, obviously, the KRM was a really good shotgun. Probably one of the best shotguns in Treyarch Zombies. So this is 
is not as good as the KRM was, but it's definitely a really good shotgun. I think of this gun as a great clearing out zombies gun. So if you have a zombie blocking your path or you're running around the map and just doing kind of like Easter egg steps, this gun is perfect for that very thing. And again, the KRM was the exact same thing. It was amazing for Easter eggs. And this gun right here does the same thing in BO4 Zombies. It's not a gun you want to have for like high round runs, but for training around the map and doing eggs, this thing is perfect. Next up in the sixth spot, we have the Vapor. And this is another gun that everybody really seems to like, just like the ICR. And this weapon is also a wall weapon, which is so nice. The one thing that really sucks about this gun is you don't unlock it until level 53. So if you guys plan on prestiging and you like this gun, it's definitely worth an unlock because if you don't unlock it, you'll never have a chance to use the attachments and really see what this gun can do. Not bad. I find that this gun is a little bit underwhelming, especially since it's a level 53 unlock. But when this gun is fully packed, I was actually surprised. It is an absolute beast. And also, I love the 50-shot mag this gun has when packed. It's always great for an AR. And in general, against zombies, this gun wrecks. Against gladiators and bigger zombies, it's not the best thing in the game. It's definitely a lot better than a lot of ARs. But if you guys are somebody that loves rocking ARs and zombies, this is one I highly recommend. Coming in at the 5 spot, we have the STM Sniper. And you guys know I love the the STM, in my opinion, it's the best gun here in BO4 Zombies, but the STM non papped is already a monster because we're talking about papped guns here and papped versions of guns, and this gun gets better, but since it's already so good, it cannot get that much better. Now, I have to say, when you first use the STM, you have not ranked this gun up at all, you have no attachments, it's level one, it's not the greatest thing in the world. The scope on it, it's, it's not that good, but trust me, guys, use this thing, rank it up. Put on iron sights, put on all of your attachments, and all of a sudden, this gun kind of turns into an AR, and it is a absolute monster of a gun. It just takes those few ranks to unlock some of those base attachments that will make this thing so much better. In the number four spot, we have the Zweihander. I don't know how the hell to pronounce the name of this gun, but it is the MG08 of BO4 Zombies, and this weapon right here, I actually said in my top five best weapons video this thing has attachments unfortunately it does not but who cares because this thing is already an absolute monster non-papped it's decent when you pap it fully this thing is disgusting 300 shots in a clip 600 in reserve a total of 900 shots throw on bandolier and now you have 1200 shots i don't know what more you want from an lmg in a cod zombies and damage wise this thing is insane. Also, since the fire rate is on the lower side, it doesn't burn through ammo as fast as other LMGs. It still shoots fast. It feels like it shoots fast, but you just don't burn through ammo. So this thing is just the perfect LMG for COD zombies. And on top of that, since you do have no attachments on this gun, you guys can experience this thing's full power right away. Next up in the respawn, we have another LMG but how in the world can another LMG beat this Y-Hander? Isn't that the ultimate LMG for COD Zombies? It definitely is, but the Hades is a gun that really isn't all that great non papped It is a decent gun, but when you pap this thing, it gets really good. Like this Y-Hander non papped is already good, but the Hades definitely makes a bigger jump than this Y-Hander. I am probably absolutely butchering the name of that LMG, so I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now. But going back to the Hades, the Hades just makes a massive jump from non pap to papped. And the thing I love about this gun is it doesn't really feel like an LMG. You still are slowed down a little bit more, but it doesn't feel like I'm running that much slower compared to having an AR instead. So this thing has the ammo and the power of an LMG, but it feels like I have the mobility of an AR. In the number two spot, we have the Strife Pistol. And this gun really surprised me because the Strife Pistol is a wall gun. And it's also a gun you can equip to be your 
starting weapon, which is absolutely amazing. And the non papped version, it really isn't that great. I have used this gun on like round 10 non papped and it wasn't that good. And then I got this gun as a free gun on IX and all of a sudden this thing turned into an absolute monster when papped. And that was not even fully papped. When this gun is fully papped, it is just disgusting. If you guys are playing a lot of IX, please use this gun, throw on FMJ1 and FMJ2, and then say goodbye to all of the Gladiator's armor because this thing will not, first of all, without FMJ, it's already great against Gladiators. Throw on FMJ1 and 2, and then it absolutely melts them. It's disgusting. And also, I highly recommend the extended mags because that is great having that massive mag and the stiletto knife, which is the operator mod. That is a great, great thing to have on for the first, like, you know, five rounds. It makes the normal knife a one knife for like five rounds. So that's always great. But overall, guys, this weapon is disgustingly powerful. It's great against gladiators. And on top of that, it's a free gun. Coming in at the one spot, I have a gun that really has surprised me and it continues to surprise me every single time I use it. And that is the Hellion Salvo Rocket Launcher. If you guys have not used this thing and fully papped this gun, you guys really need to try because it is just absolutely disgusting. It has to have like the highest damage in the game because it is, I think, the only gun that can actually one shot both both gladiators on IX. Once you get past like round 25 on IX, you get a lot of those gladiators spawning in every single round along with zombies. And this gun is the, you know, fix to that problem. On top of that, it is great against the Blightfather as well. And of course, it annihilates zombies on top of that. So overall, the Hellion Salvo is such a solid gun. And I promise you guys, you will not be let down if you end up using this gun on pretty much any map here in BO4 Zombies. There we have it, guys. Those are 10 of the best papped guns here in Blast for Zombies. If you guys have any ideas for other top 10s or top 5s, please let me know right now in the comments below. And besides that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.